Story of Seth and Devotee Once in a village lived a devotee named Gyanchand who was always engrossed in devotion of God. His routine to wake up early in morning, do worship and sing hymns in praise of God. After that he would go to his shop and work till lunch time and close shop. After that he would go serve poor, do charity and rest time he will stay in company of saints and worship God. People were surprised by his such behavior and thought of him as madman. People will criticize him saying he is such a fool. He opens his shop only for a while where as he could have earned so much if he would keep his shop for longer. And not only that he would spend all his money in service of saints who are and doing charity. There was a rich man in village who was called Nagar Sik. One day Sik went to meet Gyanchand and giving a cap to him he said This cap is for biggest fool. So, I want to give this cap to you because I can't find a fool bigger than you. If you see someone who is bigger fool than you, then you can give this to him to wear. Gyanchand didn't said anything and kept that cap. After some years, Gyanchand heard that Sit got ill. So he went to meet him and inquired about his health condition. Sit said, "Brother, my end is near. I will be leaving." Gyanchand asked, "Have you sent someone there before you to make all preparations for you? Will your wife, son, money, car, bungalow, etc., go with you?" Sit replied, "Brother, who will come?" No one is going to come with me. I have to go alone. Family, wealth, palaces, all things will be left there. No one is going to be with anyone except the soul and the supreme soul. Hearing these words, Gyanchand got up and went back to his home and returned to sit after some time. Sit was surprised to see all this and asked, "What happened? Why did you leave?" Gyanchand gave that cap to Sit and said, "I went to get this cap, one you gave me." Sit asked, "Why are you giving it to me?" Gyanchand replied, "When you gave me this cap, you said that I should give this to someone whom I find more foolish than me." Today I found that man. You are more foolish than me. When you knew that the whole property, house, shop worldliness will not go with you, even then you were engaged in this greed throughout your life and even after the requirements were fulfilled, you still were interested in earning more. engaged in fulfilling physical desires and did not do good deeds did not serve the needy did not worship god did not do charity did not do religious work did not propagate religion did not prepare anything for going to the other world now you yourself understand who is the bigger fool You like this story so please do like and share this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you.